we've put together a few tips that will help you create better videos in the classroom as well as make your life easier when it's time to submit your videos. Here are the topics in our lesson plan. Camera placement, microphone basics, blurring faces, and light levels. Where you put your camera is critical for getting the best quality video of your teaching demonstration. Place the edges of the frame where you think you will be moving between the most. It's okay if you occasionally leave the frame. Do not rotate the camera. The footage will be recorded sideways and will not fill the 16x9 dimensions of HD video, and will include black pillar boxes on each side, and will require significant time to rotate in post-production. Moving the camera closer to the action is better. Visually, your activities will be recorded much better than from the back of the room. It will also greatly improve your audio. A main reason the Zoom Q3 HD camera was chosen for EdTPA is because it has great stereo microphones. It is critical to remember that your recorded audio is being captured from the camera and where it is positioned. By moving the zoom closer to the source, you will not only improve your recording volume by being closer in proximity, you will also reduce the amount of ambient classroom noise. Make sure to face the microphone in your direction as it will also improve your audio quality. If recording a table session, it is important to remember this as your voice will not be recorded as well if the zoom is pointed away from you and at your students. So we're going to talk a little bit about when to use indirect proofs. We're going to talk a little bit about uh, when to use indirect proofs. It is also good practice to repeat questions raised by the students, especially if they are towards the back of the classroom and their pickup range is distant. Okay, so great question. The question was, where was Abraham Lincoln when he was, the night he was shot? One of the biggest problems that you may have to solve with your footage in post-production is the blurring of faces, names on jackets, name tags, or items left on the wall. If your footage is not stationary, a 5 minute video can take hours for you to blur multiple objects in your footage. To prevent this from happening to you, here are a few tips to keep in mind before you begin recording. It is best to keep the camera on a tripod and not panning, tilting, or zooming. Handheld is the worst. If a student is wearing a school hoodie with a name on the back, simply place tape across it to block the identification of them. Remove your name tag prior to hitting the red record button. Place your students engaged in learning in the front rows since you've already identified them as good role models and they have returned personal release forms signed by their parents. If a student has not turned in a release form, simply have them sit further back in the classroom behind the camera. Lastly, make sure that the room is well lit. The Zoom Q3 HD doesn't capture as crisp of an image in dimmer light. If using a projector or a document camera, try cracking the blinds a little. Or only turn off the front half of the classroom, just enough to read the overhead. Remember to visit the Multimedia Lab for assistance with your Zoom Q3 HD camera. We can help with pulling your footage off of your SD card, fixing your videos, or preparing them to submit to your online portfolios.